All right, folks, welcome back. Today we got a special guest. We got Sean Scam Skateboards. He's got a YouTube channel, he's got some skateboarding on there. Uh, but we're gonna play the Beaver Branch Gold, so let's check it out. And here we go, hole one. Sean throwing a Lucid Sheriff. Getting a hold of it there. This is 380 feet. And that one hooks up, fades out on him. I'm throwing an Opto Ballista. And it flips over. There's a pretty good headwind going on on this one. No excuses though, besides being ice cold. And we both just kind of chip up. Easy threes on hole one. All right, moving over to hole two. It's uh, 256 feet. Sean's throwing a Lucid Emac from the Beaver Branch run, and I'm also throwing a Lucid Emac. Trying to get in the circle here, or maybe in the basket. And we got a little putting game going on. Ringing it up for the first birdie of the round. All right, here I'm throwing a Zero Soft Pure. And the way the wind was coming, it was actually making our disc kind of stabilize. Um, Sean's throwing a Warden here. Uh, this is a short turnover shot at 226 feet. And we doink our putts and move on to hole four. Hole four is clocking in here at 222 feet. It is to the left. This is the first hole that is different from the blue course, and it is to the left of the blue pin, um, and it's right on the edge of the driveway, which is OB, or pavement is OB. Sean throwing the gatekeeper the keeper there. He hits the V tree and then slid it across the pavement and under the holly tree there. And he slides it across the pavement to can himself a four. And I missed a two putt here. I threw the Opto Explorer. Probably should have thrown a felon to get all the way around that corner. Here I'm throwing a retro fuse. This is hole five at 221-ish feet. Uh, didn't quite get it over on the angle I wanted. And Sean here is throwing his warden. And it's just a beautiful shot. Thought it was going to ace. I'm left behind the holly tree there, but in the circle. And... Eat nothing easier than that. All right, Sean's throwing his Lucid Emac down the driveway here on hole six. This has kind of been the add-in hole at 260 feet. I'm throwing an Opto River. And this one was kind of added in because this was the extension of the gold hole five. We broke it in half when we took out hole nine. Are right, we picking back things up here on hole seven? Throwing a retro fuse. Um, it's listed at 256, but I think it's around 235, maybe 240. And Sean, of course, throwing his warden. And he kind of pulls up and lands in the drainage ditch. Now, the drainage ditch here is casual water because it's dry a lot of the time. Uh, the pond is OB, pavement is OB. Uh, here I had a very tight window, but in the circle, missed another in the circle putt. And here I am throwing a soft harp right through the gap around the Mando. It's about a 200 foot shot. Um, tight little window to hit. Sean going Emac. He doinks the tree to the right of the Mando. And then sends one onto the green from the ditch again. Look at his putt right there. And we are on to hole number nine. Hole nine is another hole that's different from the blues. And in this one, you're going past the blue pin 
and almost another hundred feet across the creek. This one clocks in at 339 feet, tight hole. We're both throwing lucid escapes. Sean got over a little bit and doinked back into the fairway and then had a nice warden up shot to the green. Mine flipped over, kicked, and I got to circle two, pin deep, and then had a not so good bid for a two, but an easy three. And you see our scores here after the front nine. A few twos, a bogey on the card, not bad. Here we're going like team lucid escape. Uh, this hole is a par four. It comes in at 473 feet. You want to get down into the valley and past the creek if you can. And Sean's left kind of pinched off there on the right side, throwing an opto fuse. And I am, I almost make where I want to land. I'm a little bit off to the left, pinched off to the left, and I'm throwing a lucid felon here. And I actually land up there on the edge of circle one. Sean has a nice upshot here, laying up for his third. And now he'll be able to par. I miss the birdie opportunity. And we're both going to collect easy pars on the 473 shot. All right, here we got a 332 foot shot. It is kind of straight to the corner of the yard down there where the yellow or the gold and white painted tree is. A little bit further than the blue hole um just a little bit more distance we're both throwing some drivers here um, we both get to about circle two we both got uh you know long putts at it and we don't capitalize but trudging right along now this is hole 12 it goes over the pond and then down the creek um, it plays as kind of a uh, Anheuser flex shot. So you want to get the Anheuser across the pond and then have it flex down the creek and hopefully flex enough to get to the left side of the creek. Uh, Sean ended up to the right here doing some scrambling. And this is one of those holes that averages like a 3.5 um, with all the play. And I went OB here and got a circle three putt out of the deal. But pretty close to getting that, uh, that two look. All right, hole 13. Um, another hole that's been kind of moved around. It's at 374 feet, basically a right to left shot out of the woods um, and across this green fairway. So 374 feet, slightly uphill and to the left. You can see Sean here, he's on the edge of circle two and I made it to circle one and knocked down a deuce. That's a bonus deuce. Hole 14 clocks in at 228. Throwing an Opto River here, just kind of throwing a low line drive, kind of flipping it over and letting it flex through the gap there. Sean throwing a similar shot with his Lucid Escape, and he absolutely pinned it. And mine faded off a little bit to the left, but still well in circle one, probably like a 18, 20 footer. All right, here we are on 15. 15 measured out at 260 feet, and it is to the left of the blue basket, the gold basket is. So you got to throw through the tight gap, straight, and then fade it just a little bit at the end. We were both circle one putting here, and we both uh, circle one missed it. <laughs> Nice air ball there by me, and then I have a tricky putt coming back 
through these vines off the fairway basically and happy to collect a three there all right this is our other par four it's 422 feet the initial gap is the hardest and then it opens up um, I flipped over the Raider. There's kind of a headwind coming, so I disked up. Uh, Sean snaps himself a nice shot on his Lucid Sheriff, and he has the shot of the group. I ended up off to the right, um, throwing an Anheuser shot, and I went Anheuser, so I went off the fairway, off the fairway. Sean, meanwhile, plays the hole perfectly, which is just throw two good drives and collect a birdie and I threw a bad drive bad upshot to collect a par again it's probably a soft par four but um so here we are on 17 this comes in at 265 it is a hyzer shot or a right to left shot you want to get it up nice and high and let it break and I believe Sean went Lucid Sheriff. We had kind of a tailwind and a right to left wind. So I went under stable with a lot of glide with the Opta River and hit a tree and then tossed up for onto the green with the harp. And Sean went left early, but still was in circle two. And he lays up on the green for his three. All right, wrapping it up here on hole 18. We're going Lucid Sheriff. And this one clocks in at over 400 feet. I think it's more like 410 or 415. Um, measured at just over four. I'm throwing a Opto Ballista Pro. My understable one with the tailwind. And I'm getting almost in the circle two there pretty good in the circle two uh sean's faded out a little early on that tailwind but he throws a great upshot to secure his three and i have a bid for a putt and flubbed it but easy three nonetheless uh we had a nice round we both shot under par here sean shooting a negative one I collected a negative five and great day on the course. This is beautiful, nice cool temperatures. Here's a look at our scorecards. You can see it was par 56, so we got negative five, negative one. And then our stats coming in. I missed some circle one X putts, which is the big stat that I always look at. And that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon out on the course.